going on guys we're going drum fishing today again we uh we were here the other day didn't really saw one uh, that's about it getting a little bit of a later start today with the storm system coming through i know they were biting earlier today so we're gonna try to get into them there's a boat actually out here in the bay which is pretty shallow uh kind of funny that he's out here and uh we're gonna try out our new i'll show you it once i get set up i built a little surf fishing holder so we'll show that off too but yeah gonna get down there to the water and get some lines in all right just real quick overview so i got just built this out one inch pvc got spikes on the bottom got a spot to put my feet driving in the ground really work it down in there there we go there you go a little wobbly but should do should do the trick and I just went ahead and mounted a Scotty it's actually an inch and a quarter mount to it and it'll hold my rod and it allows us to do a little bit of bait fishing while we're out here in the surf and uh, unfortunately having to share our spot with these boat guys I guess they weren't really having much luck out there but I'm gonna get my shrimp put onto this rod and then start winging some blade baits and hope we get into a decent drum today I think we're maximizing our chances a little bit here So since I couldn't wait to start fishing. So it's all one inch PVC, two T's, two elbows, and then I just painted it. But the reason why you put a T down low is so you can put your foot on. And actually, it worked out almost perfectly where 10 feet, a 10 foot length of that PVC was perfect. So I did 20 inch spikes and then 30 inch uprights 10 inch crossbars and then like I said that Scotty mount I already had the rod holder and then I just bought a pipe mount and it's an inch and a quarter mount the one inch PVC is a little on the big side for it but it does work it does work now we just gotta catch a fish I really want one on the artificial, but I will take one on that blade or on that bait. Buddy was here and caught a 21 today. And I think a 14. So they're here. At least they were earlier today. So fingers crossed. Oh, and shout out to John, guy I met while I was packing up my gear. Uh, says he comes down here to carp fish. I'd love to meet a fellow carp fisherman. Not many of those around. And uh, give him some stickers. So if you're watching, thanks for watching, John. And hope you guys get into some carp soon. Hopefully I run into you. Maybe we can carp fish together sometime. Oh, oh, we're on, oh, we're on. Oh yeah, we're on. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. That did not take long at all. Yeah, baby. It's a good fish. Oh, 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 we gotta turn him, oh. We gotta stop him from going deeper. He's gonna get tangled up in that other line. I don't know if we're gonna be able to stop him though. I'm gonna go over under this line. Yep, he's wrapped up in it. All right, he's not wrapped up in it anymore. We gotta find him out here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. 
Oh, he's burning. He's heavy. You gotta be over 10, for sure over 10. Oh yeah, that's what I came for. We actually have a scale today, so we can weigh them. And grippers. Because I don't have a net. Be a drum. It's gotta be a drum. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Barn door. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. He's going again. That's a big one. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Let's get him up here on this shelf. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Man, that might go 15. Beauty of a fish. We're gonna get him over to the shore. Take a few pictures. I'm just gonna walk him back. It's too shallow for him to really fight anymore. Look at that. Yes. guys look at that brute that's a beauty right there i don't know if he's gonna go 15. we have a scale you go ahead and weigh him nine and a half wow that's crazy i did not expect that i expected him to definitely go over 10. that's a beauty though beauty of a fish we're gonna go walking back out i'll take you guys with me clean up a little bit so the last one of these that I caught took a while to revive. So we're gonna take good care of this guy. He's already starting to kick a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful fish. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unclasp him. Here he goes. Look at that, he knew. Beautiful. All right, didn't handle him too long. I cannot believe he didn't go over 10, but we're far from done. Let's get back in there. Oh, we're on, we're on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, buddy, he feels big. He's just pulling. I'm just gonna let him pull for a while. Try to turn him. Maybe gain on him. Oh, yeah. You're running sideways now. Oh. Can't do much. Hopefully he's bigger than the last one. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. He's big. He's gotta be bigger than the last one. Oh, we're gaining. Oh, we're gaining. We need to get some line back. Getting as much as we can back on the spool. I think he's running for me. Oh. He's either really big or just really lively. Oh. He's a brute, that's for sure. He's just really lively. I don't think he's really that big. He's not bigger than the last one. He's just fighting harder. Whew. Beautiful. Beautiful sheep's head. Gasper goo. Oh, he's strong. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably a good six.
<laughs> a drum. Freshwater drum. They probably, uh, there's a black drum that come in from the ocean. Might be similar. You know redfish? Maybe? <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's some good fishing around here. Oh, that beauty. That's five or six. We'll let him go. There it goes. Off into the water. Yeah. Two. That one was almost an eater. I'm thinking about doing a catch and cook. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of want to. Yeah, we are. We're on. We're on. Oh, he doesn't feel as big. Or he just hasn't woken up yet. Hey, he's decent. Doesn't feel like a drum. There's three. Three and I'm still on my first camera battery. I'm getting back into here a little bit. He doesn't feel as big. He's got weight, but. I think it's a drum. It's gotta be. There are big smallies in here, but he's not fighting like a smallie. Yeah, that's a drum. That's a good one. That's a good eater. He's actually a really good eater. We have to check our line for kinks. Here we go. Boys and girls, another a drummer. You get a drum for us? You get a drum for us? No? All right, buddy. Huh? Little guy, that'd be a good eater. Oh, he's peeing. Okay, well. Let's get that hook out of him. Ew, he's making a mess around here. He is not happy. I don't my... Yeah, my hook's all bent too. Okay. Little beauty of a drum. Let them go. Off it goes. Sweet. Three. Best drum day I've ever had. Well guys, a beautiful Lake Michigan sunset behind me. It's about a quarter to eight. And I think uh, that's gonna do it for us. Bike kinda stopped. Uh, not that it was like on fire, but we caught three good ones. And it's been slow now for a while. So I'm gonna call it, nothing on the bait rod, but I am super happy with this thing. I'm actually probably gonna add I'm move this rod holder over, put another one there. My good stop that's for us to see if they have one. If not, I'll order another one on Amazon. But we'll jog that over. Mount another one. So I have a spot for two rods also I can bring more rods out with me and just have them sit here. And then maybe you know just start bringing out plastic. Oh. Did something just hit that? I think something just hit that. Nah, nothing hit that. Anyway, move this over. Yeah, I'm just shaking it. Move this over, put another one on, and then start bringing out like plastic shopping bags or something so I can hang and have my bait and maybe, you know, bag with some ice and whatever in there. Um, I could always make it bigger too, but I, you know, keep it a little bit compact. Don't want to go too crazy. You can always make more than one and strap them together or whatever. Uh, yeah, I can show you guys a tutorial on how to build one if you really want that. I think it's pretty self-explanatory though. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna paint the rest of that. Get out of here. We're not done drum fishing uh, for the season. I do want to do a catch and cook. Let me know if you guys want to see that. So some cool recipes for blackened freshwater drum. But uh, I've been Chris with Flyest Adventures. You guys have been great. We had our best drum day today. Not, not a PB, but we now know that that one was a nine and a half. So uh, we can gauge from there. I think it just had a small belly. I think my last one was way bigger but that was just a small belly on it. 
and that was people cruising in. So we'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Stay safe out there. Bye.